Ukrainian rock band Oki and LZ released this new song titled The Answer to mark two years since Russia's full-scale invasion. Oki and LZ is Ukraine's most popular and successful rock band and they've been on a mission to support their country's military defending against Russia. Frontman Slava Vakachuk often travels to perform for the troops. He has also raised money and global awareness to support the war effort and various Ukrainian causes. And Slava Vakochuk joins me now. Thank you so much for being with us again. Uh, hello, Rosemary. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. So it has been a long two years in Ukraine, and the new song you've written addresses the pain and resolve felt across your country. What do you want the world to know about uh, this song you call The Answer? It's actually very simple and all people who are following us on, on YouTube can see the English translation. But uh, if I if I may quickly explain, it's it's uh, in, in the verses I raise questions. How many uh, days still left till the war is end? How many uh, people we will uh, we, we lose before we finally get victory and other things? But it's it's, it's done in a poetic way. And then in the chorus, I just say the answer. And the answer is actually, uh, it's a philosophical answer because we, you can see it in the wrinkles on your forehead. You can see it, it's forged uh, with uh, tears of mothers. It's, you know, it's, this, this is poetry, but but I think the poetry understood to ever, for everybody, to everybody. And, uh, and it was something I couldn't help doing because it was my emotion. There was no intention to make a special song dedicated to the second anniversary. I've just written it a couple of months ago and I couldn't help doing it. And then we decided to dedicate it to, to, the, to this very long, these very long two years. In fact, it, it, it still seems like one very, very long day. It started on the 24th of February, 2022, like, like in James Joyce, book you know yeah and and in your song you also ask the question how much more so let me ask you that how much more of this war can the troops and indeed the people of ukraine take uh i don't think that uh i know the exact answer but i know uh, the answer on a different questions are you ready to persevere are you ready to fight are you ready to uh, raise, to um, follow your goal and, for, and and take this challenge. Yes, we are ready, and I'm absolutely sure that we're going to make it and we, sh we shall overcome. First of all, we don't have... I think... Uh, yeah, we, first of all, we, we don't have any other choice because the very existence of Ukraine is, uh, is questioned now by, by Russia. And secondly, I, I strongly believe, and I mean it, that you... That light always overcomes darkness you know it's in the fairy tales it's in in the holy scriptures and it's in life the only question is the, the price for that and i think that very important if uh your if this message is now now he heard and seen by by your audience but it also depends on how uh people of democratic world how strongly you support ukraine because I think that we know fighting not only for Ukrainian existence and Ukrainian future, but also for the existence of the very existence of democracy and democratic well values in the world. We we cannot give Putin opportunity to win because he will never stop after that. And and we've seen that in the world history. We've seen it before World War II and many other uh, and uh, any other situations. So I think this time. All mistakes and uh, from the history should be learned, and I and I hope that the world will be firm in in their support of Ukraine as it was during these two years. And we need to 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 carry on. All and of you us. you uh, you continue your cross country tour of Ukraine, playing acoustic sets for the troops. I know it means a great deal That's to correct. you. And, and to them, what stories are they telling you? And what is your takeaway from these intimate performances that you do? 
Uh, first of all, uh, I, I need to say that uh, that it's very invigorating, in, if I may use this word for me and for my soul. Because when I'm there, I really feel uh, in harmony and I really feel that I got, like I'm doing something very important for me personally. And then, sadly, I see their eyes, I see their smiles, I, I feel their hugs, so I understand it's also very important for them. Uh, since now, I've been uh, I've been doing it for two years, and it, uh, it's already 240 something performances that I've given uh, on the front line, and I certainly will will continue it. And I think that it's a sort of you know it's a it's some some brotherhood. You know, you show these people that you are you are uh, absolutely you know you're just grateful. You show them gratitude. You show them your warmth. You show them their support, and and that's the way it should be. Everyone in this country, in Ukraine, uh, has to be ready to do something uh, he can do, or he or she can do most effectively for the victory. And I'm trying to do what I can do my best. Slava Vakochuk, thank you so much for joining us and for all that you do. Appreciate it. And thank you very much. And please carry on and, and keep supporting Ukraine. It's very important for us and for you too. Thank you so much.